Welcome back to Sunk Culture. In today's fast track guide, we're going to be going over the hands pull up, also known as the hands pull around. You guys are probably wondering why there's a random chick standing in front of the camera. Well, this is Kat. Today we're joined by Kat. Hello. And Dan. And they're going to be helping us with a few skills. Um, so make sure you go follow them on Instagram. We'll drop the links below. Also, also Daniel Bieski has a YouTube channel that you'll be able to get a bunch of good tips from. So make sure you go check him out on YouTube as well. And behind the camera is Jackson. What's Kat. up? And I'm Cody, if you're new to this channel. Cool. So before we get started, just wanted to touch on that giveaway that we're doing. So we've teamed up with Cheer Direct. They were kind enough to give us some Infinity Night Flight shoes, um, which we're going to be doing a review on and we'll release that next week. But we're also doing a giveaway for a pair. So if you guys are keen to win a pair of these shoes, just check out the information in the de description below and join in on that giveaway. So what we're going to be doing today is the hands pull around slash hands pull up. We've actually had a little bit of a discussion on this. So me and Jackson have always called it a hands full up. If um, we're going from hands, hands to the top. Up to the top. We'll that call it like right? hands full top or hands full up to platform or something along those lines. These guys just call, call it a hands full around. Which doesn't make any sense. Right name. Which, no, it makes sense. But what our point is that if you call a hands full around back to hands and a hands full around to the top the same thing, it's two different skills. But, but you, got say, the same name. you say where it's going afterwards, like a hands full around to hands. Or a hands full around platform. That, that just seems like more effort. <laughs> a hands full around to hands. Hands full around. It's just keep it this, keep it simple. So we, we want to know what you guys call it. We want to know if we've been calling it the wrong thing this whole time, or or if we have been, which one makes more sense? Yeah. Hands yeah. So around. like hands. <laughs> so full hands full around, whether it's hands to or the to top. the top, or hands full around. We call back to hands and hands full up to like platform or to the top or hands full up to awesome or whatever it is. Hands cool. full around. Let us know in the comments. Let's get into it. So the reason that we're going over this skill is because I noticed that these guys do it slightly different to the way that Jackson and I do it. So I wanted to basically learn the way that they do it and see if it works better for me. Um, after watching them do it a few times, I think that it's actually gonna be a lot easier. Um, and I think it's gonna be more, more comfortable for the flyer as well. So I'm pretty keen to do this and have them teach me. And hopefully it helps you guys as well. <laughs> you can start. <laughs> what are we, oh, no, what are I, we? I start, yeah. it's my, it's my, yeah, uh, it's my you. thing. Welcome back to your channel. Yeah, welcome back to my channel. This is uh, Cody Brown. <laughs> and today I'm gonna show you guys what it's like to do a C grip when you do a full around. I do C grip, these guys do like regular hands grip. I do C grip because it doesn't hurt my wrists and it feels more comfortable and it feels easier to spin the flyer. So that's why I do C grip and that's basically it. It's also a lot easier to keep your flyer's feet flat and keep it more in the center so that it hits right on top of you. So it feels better for you C grip than yeah. Easier to squeeze your butt, easier to keep your feet flat. I think Christine actually said that she preferred she it to. Yeah. That's yeah. why I was keen to like do this so I can see what it feels like for me. Because if it's going to be better for fly, then I'm keen for it. So he's not used to this, and he's going to try it with Cat, and we're going to see if I can help him at all, and we'll see if it helps. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. We're just going to work through it. So that's all we're going to do. And maybe Jackson will jump in and have a go. And Jackson is going to try it too. Sweet. <laughs> Jackson's getting very upset behind the camera. We keep leaving him out. <laughs> Here we go. Let's see if I don't. With a secret. I hope I hit it. And they're going to do it one more time so I can film the seed grip. <laughs> and put it in slow-mo. Um, so when we do a toss extension, it's just normal grip. And then as I come down, that's when I change into an actual C grip. And a C grip is just a, you know, a C, a nice C. And then it's just like this, your fingers are on the side of her feet. And then it's just easier to get that spin going. And I'll show you that right now. Normal grip, and then you change into C. Right here, there's a C grip. And then pull around. All right, so I'm gonna give that a go now. I'm gonna go to hands to do it um, for the first time. One of the things I will point out when I saw this that I really liked is it looks like it forces the base to keep their elbows in a lot more. I've seen, now that I've seen like a few people do this, they're in nice and close, which I think helps with like the power rather than letting those elbows come out. So, let's see. 
Nice tough hands. Big secret. Alright, pretty good. So Cody is incredible and he hit it the first try. <laughs> now moving on to the next skill. Just kidding, we're gonna keep doing it. Well, what could I fix that? Because I pressed it a little bit, yeah? So the difference between you guys I felt was that Dan takes like a really long dip. More dip, yeah. Yeah. Just like so maybe like a longer dip so okay. that you can be because uh, it was like the same up but just like a bit. Okay. Uh, so the speed on the way up and when I let go felt the same. Just on the way down. Yeah, little, I think so. Cool. That's something that I've like, I've seen people do and I know that I should, but I just never dip long enough. I always like just go. Yeah. Okay. Alright, should we give it a go? Yeah. When you dip for a longer period of time, you like kind of come up slower. Yeah. And then you start turning the legs. Okay. In an awkward position right before you throw it. So keep it straight up longer on the way up? Yeah, so I come down, I take a nice long dip, but I'm still just sharp on the way up. Okay. And I try not to move her feet out of line. Yeah. I just try to give it a little bump, fall through, and then lock. reach up tall to grab it. Yeah, yeah. can we try one more? Let's yeah. see if I can walk. <laughs> that was good. It was very okay. good. Yeah, that, that one felt better. Yep. I think it's just like playing around with that timing. Yeah. Cool. You want to go, Jackson? Yeah, sure. <laughs> so top. Top extension. Okay. So extension straight up. So, there it is. Yeah, her feet were angled like this. There was more angles. Um, and that kind of made her go forward, and then she didn't really feel swing. Yeah, so I tried not to swing. You have to try to keep the feet flat. And then you kind of almost spin with your, the meat of your thumb right here. Why don't you try one from hands first, or is that awkward for you? I want to try the extension. Okay. It controls my dip more. I think the grips are just funny for me. Yeah. That's good. You just do that. Straight through. I reckon even though you probably don't feel it, you're probably still helping her a bit. So don't try and... Oh, I still help her. Like on the spin? Yeah. I, I still go like this, but I just don't do it as quickly Yeah. if I want to do less power. So do the same, but not as aggressive. So yeah. when Dan and I first started doing them, the one thing that I noticed was that uh, I think us as Australians spin it here, like real quick and then grab it at the top. Whereas his kind of goes like this. It, it spins like, it's all yeah, one. Yeah. Don't really know how to explain it. No, I get you. But it spins on the way up rather than like a spin at the bottom. This is a thing that me and Cody go over all the time though, because whenever we, I do hands full ups or full rounds, I try and do that. I try and go here and spin at the top and Cody goes here. That was, that's it's a, on the way up though. So like I spin it at the bottom. Well, I'm here, I start spinning here. And then I just keep going, and then I follow through, and then I try to reach taller, and then I come around here. Okay. But it's not a straight then spin; it's just on the way up. Yeah. It, it naturally, up. it should naturally go with what she's doing as she's spinning and tapping her toes to the corner. You know, it just needs to be more fluid. Cause that one was a little choppy, and that's why it's fun choppy. Can I try again? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna try again. Okay. I just wanted to. Just want them to see. So, I think I get what you mean now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Here I we go. I know. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was really good. Yeah. Just angled a little bit. Better. It went up, it went spun in a, in a circle a little bit. So something that helps me with her is to just kind of be on her heels a little bit more. 
Yeah, good legs on the side. Yeah, and just uh. be on the heels and just kind of keep it flat the whole time. And then just keep your hands flat as you flick through. It's actually so different to what I'm used to now that I've gone into like... Yep. The grips for me wasn't, is the dipping that, just the timing, getting changing the timing. Alright, last one. So I think the, the reason it overspins is because you just want to have more of a plant on the ground when you catch it and stop it to the front, you know? Because right now you're catching it at the top but you're not, you're not stopping it with your body. You're just catching it and pushing through but it's just like this. You're letting it go over here whereas you can just stop it and not let, like you just don't want your body to open, open up this way. You don't want it to open that way. You just want it to stick. Do you think this? Do you think that partly that's because like for so long, and I've done a lot of twisting stuff. I love it. I've always tried to catch and finish. So like the timing of like you landing at the front is just really weird for me. But yeah, because you're used to trying to turn it to the front, and with her you don't really need to. So I need to just completely just lock. You still need to turn your hands. Yeah, just turn your hands. Yeah, no, but my body, your body, like not your body. Just turn your hands and then let your body stay centered and then it'll come to the front. You know, you don't have to you don't have to help her spin or you don't have to finish it for her. It's just gonna fall into your hand. Probably true. Yeah. Last one? Yeah. Good. Sorry, I'm trying to go live now. I'm, I'm trying to like hit live and then nice. That's good. Alright, so I have this really weird mindset where I feel like if I can't hit the skill to one hand that I can't actually hit it properly. So, what I would like to try now is try and do that same pull up to awesome. Sure, I'll go first. Alright. In this one. Do you change anything or do you think about anything differently or what do you? Um, I don't change anything in this flick, but I just yep. change the way I catch it. So I do the same finish yep. and then it comes around as if I would here, but when I have one hand I stand taller yep. than two hands, you know? Yep, push through more. Yep, push through my shoulder more and I can catch it up here. And the goal is to catch it as tall as you can so when you turn it and it settles, it's in a perfect spot yep. and not here. Gotcha. If so it's good. going to QB, I twist a lot less. Yeah, so yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I don't know if that's what I'm supposed to that be doing. Yeah, but no, I no. just so it's not as hard an Im of an impact, I kind of literally just bring my feet together rather than actually twisting yeah. at all. That's yeah. what I would usually so that's what I would usually um, ask my players to do for the awesome is spin less. But honestly for the most part I actually get them to spin that way from the start. Well that's what I was that's what I was yeah. that's what yeah. I was gonna ask because like why not do the same? It's easy. <laughs> I don't know. You don't do the same because it's easier to catch a stone with two hands. And you can you can catch more of an impact with two hands. And that's do you think it looks cleaner? Is that why the when it, when you do it with the faster spin to two hands? Like does it look cleaner? Yeah, do you think that's the reason? Actually, you know what? It does. Because I, I actually said that to you the other day. I was like, they look so much cleaner because they just hit and stop at the front. Yeah. Whereas when I tend to do flops, ups they kinda like, the one arm can't it's yeah. like roll a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Timing yeah. will probably be a little bit off again. Okay, no. Just a hands? Yeah. Do you feel anything? Um, no. Time on the dip. I saw something. Yeah? Your fingertips were facing that wall at the end. Okay. Which one is that? I think I'm flicking you. Is that why your feet are getting flicked out a bit? Um, it's all happening a bit quick. Okay. So I'm not too sure. When I do this, I have to think about placing it where I want it to be. Yeah. Instead of just throwing it. So with all the pull arounds that I've done to two hands, I have to think about it in that same spot. I just have to place it a little bit more. Yeah. And just reach for it. Um, you just have to visualize it the whole time. Yeah. Until it comes back around. 
but if you're just throwing it, it's really hard to catch it. Yeah. Okay, you really have it to Because it definitely feels different to the two. It definitely feels slower, yeah. which feels more like what I'm kind of used to, but I keep getting only your heels, so I don't know if I'm like throwing you off. Um, I yeah. think you are a little bit. Yeah. Um, okay. It's just because the dip and the throw are both really short, I can't really tell. Okay, so we're gonna get um, more dip. But yeah, the, like I was just gonna say, the difference that I feel like between you guys is that I feel like he, when I do it with you, Jan, I actually feel, can't feel you like let my feet go. Oh yeah. Okay. But with you and Jackson, I can't feel your hands at all. Okay. Yeah. All right. Which is not an insult. Which is not a bad thing. No, it's it's, it's just the difference. Yeah. yeah. You can't feel our hands at all. Like, they let go so quick. So, like, it, it feels like it throws and it catches. Whereas him, I, I can't feel really feel wall. me in the air. I just... Yeah, I spin all the way through. I spin it, like, I'm holding the, the feet the whole time until here. Then I let go, and then I reach for it. Um, but, yeah, I just, I start spinning here, and I just fall through, and then it's here. Okay, so I'm going to dip longer, and then try and, like, push through a little bit more. All right. So when I was first learning this, I would watch Constantine all the time because whenever he, he did double arounds, he would be extension and then he'd come like this with his elbows so close together yep. and then her feet would be like on the outside of his wrist okay. and then his wrists are on the inside of her feet and then it'd be like that and it's like so quick of a spin and I tried to do that with just full arounds but I just do less. Yep. But you're kind of having it like a regular hand. So it's still finger. around too much, is yeah, it? Yeah, your fingers are still on the side. Yeah. Whereas I try to put my palms underneath the feet more. Yeah, so and underneath there. And then that helps me keep my palms in a little okay. bit close in one hand, you know? Okay. So have your elbows in more and palms in on the inside of the feet. Okay. Yeah, so that's how I do it. It made it, so the biggest difference I've noticed with the C-Grip is that it makes it easy to put my elbows together. Yeah. Here, as much as I tried to think about it, it all, like, always naturally yeah. like, came out too much. So that little change, it's just comfortable to have them here. Yeah. And then what you said, by bringing them in even more, same thing, just made it na like, naturally comfortable to have them here rather than like And then, that. to show the camera more, like when she was standing on his hands, it was not just in the, it was not in the center more, come close, can you see it? stand more on the side of his of the meat of his thumb right here and then he'll almost feel like he's spinning with his meat of his thumb yeah right there sweet i'm gonna try the thing that oh, the, cody head. did the thing what's the, the thing the, the, the c with the elbows into the awesome are we going to extension yep okay changing on the way down yep okay Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to focus on the dip and the grip. So go to extension, yeah, adjust on the way down, yeah. settle, and then go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get scared of just doing it from hands because I feel like I'm going to get too nervous. That's why I do extension because I have to go because it's the and fluid. It has yeah. yeah. But I here like I'm just. I like, the, I, like <laughs> the, I like the word fluid. Is that good? Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say like when you do it, it looks really awkward, rather than like yeah. Yeah, you're doing it like this. Okay. You're still kind of like this instead of like this. Yeah. Oh. They're so like on the, the meat has to be on the inside of your shoes. Yeah. Alright, meet on the insides. Yep. Okay. You okay? Yeah. Good. Yeah, that's better. Ready? Yeah. Oh, yes. What I did. You okay? Yeah. Why did I throw you here? That feels so different. It's probably the same as why I did it. 
It's so different. It's good. I think it's just about placing it. I think I'm doing naturally what I'm used to because I'm here. So I'm doing this and then see, I think I'm like yeah. tipping you. Mm -hmm. So I, do I need to kind of think about like... Keeping her flat? Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> I think I am, but okay. I think I know where to put you now. So what do you got to think about? Keeping her feet as flat as possible, but like keeping them in like above me. Yeah, and slow dip. Slow dip, slow dip. Push through. Well, but we do them very similar, so it make, kind of makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I try to stunt, I try to make it as easy as possible for me. And the flyer. And right? it. Well, if it's easy for me, <laughs> if it's easier for me, it's going to be easier for the flyer because I'll catch it easier and then she's like, oh, it's easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, you know? All right, glue it from the top. Nice. Because it felt easier. like it happened, but like it was wrong. It was still, it was, it was not in the right spot, but you held it because of the way you threw it. Okay. Like sometimes when it's more angled, it's going to come out of line and it's impossible to hold, but when it stayed flat the whole time, it didn't matter where it was, you could still hold it. Okay. So I just needed to place it better. Yeah. Can I try that one more time? Mm -hmm. So I feel like I didn't get my, the, the meaty bit on the inside as much that time. Would that have affected that? It felt mm. really flat. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yes, bro. <laughs> that was so good. I felt that. Yeah. That yeah. Was yeah. That was it. Wow. Really yeah. nice. Oh, that was yeah, so okay. good. Wow. Really nice. so different. I didn't think that would actually See how it just kind of like places happens. and sits? Like there's no, it doesn't really feel like anything happens. Well for me. Um, so if you guys got value from any of that stuff, which we obviously definitely did because it feels a lot better, we just got to get used to the timing. Make sure you hit that subscribe, sub, blah, 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 subscribe button. Also, head over to Daniel's channel and check out some of the tips from his other videos and follow both of them on Instagram again. And let us know in the comments like if you got value from it, what you got from it, how you do the skill, because we're keen to like learn from lots of people and kind of like gain more knowledge from everyone. Cool. Let's see some cool stuff of you guys. All right. <laughs> that's insane so thanks for watching this video guys um, just remember about that infinity giveaway that we're doing check out the description below and get involved and hopefully we'll see you in the next video peace peace out